Solve natin tong problem. Find the midpoint, slope, and distance between the points 2, negative 5 and negative 7, 10. So, meron lang tayong gagamitin formula dito for the midpoint, slope, and distance between two points. So, let's start with the midpoint formula. So, para sa x-coordinate ng midpoint ng two points, let's denote this by x sub m equal siya sa x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2. And for the y-coordinate, let's say y sub m equal naman siya sa y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So, using this formula for the given points, so we have 2 comma negative 1 and negative uh, 7 comma 10. Kung ililet natin itong uh, 2 comma negative 1 as our first point, therefore, we can have x sub 1 equal to 2 and y sub 1 equal to negative 5. And if we let the second coordinate be our point 2, we can have negative 7 as our x sub 2 and 10 as our y sub 2. So, therefore, plugging in the formula, we can find the x sub m equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So, we have 2 plus negative 7 over 2 or equal to. So, 2 plus negative 7 is negative 5 over 2. Then, for the y sub m, using this formula, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2, let's substitute the value. So, we have y sub 1 is negative 5 plus y sub 2 is 10 over 2. So, therefore, we have negative 5 plus 10. It's equal to 5 over 2. So, therefore, the midpoint of the two points is the coordinate negative 5 over 2, comma 5 over 2. Next, let's have the formula for the slope. So, let's denote the slope as m. It is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, kung ililet natin na point 1 si 2 comma negative 5, we have x1, y1. And if we let negative 7 comma 10 as p2, we have x2, y2. So, plugging in the values in the formula for the slope, so we have 10 minus negative 5 over x2 minus x1. So, we have negative 7 minus 2. Simplifying, we have 10 minus negative 5 is 15. Over negative 7 minus 2, it's negative 9. So, therefore, the slope is 15 over negative 9 or simply negative 15 over 9. Lastly, let's have the distance formula. So, let's denote the distance between two points as D. And it is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. So, if we let... Point 1 as 2 comma negative 5, we have x1 comma y1. And if we let p2 as negative 7 comma 10, we have x2 y2. Substituting this value to the distance formula, we have x2 minus x1. So, negative 7 minus 2. Then squared plus y2 minus y1. So, we have 10 minus negative 5. And then squared. So, simplifying, we have the square root of negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9 squared plus 10 minus negative 5 is 15 squared. So, therefore, we have square root of negative 9 quantity squared is 81 plus 15 squared is 225. So, we have square root of 81 plus 25 is 306 so, simplifying this square root of 306, we can think of factors of 306 in such a way that 1 is a perfect square. So, 306 can be factored as 9 times 34. And getting the square root of 9, it is 3, leaving 34 inside the square root. So, therefore, the final answer will be 3 square root of 34.